Welcome to my channel. This is Lori from Cruising for Treasure and I have a few things to uh, show you today. Um, I actually had a sale on Poshmark. Woohoo! It was nothing fantastic, but it was a sale, so we'll take it. So starting off with the first one, got a tangled mess here. Okay, I'm trying to rush and you know what happens when you try to rush. I have a hair appointment. I have to get out the door too. So getting this in quickly. Um, okay, so a Victoria's Secret um, new bra. This sold for $20. Um, this was a mistake start to finish. Um, I wanted to try my hand at online arbitrage last fall. And so I was doing... Um, I, I got some things from a couple different websites and one of them was from Victoria's Secret and oh my soul, I was not even thinking when I did it. I got, that that was a 32 triple D. That size is not gonna sell quickly, okay? Just saying. <laughs> so anyway, we learned from our mistakes, right? When I first started on eBay, um, I actually, I was devouring all the information I could, watching YouTube, uh, following Facebook groups, all the things. And something someone said at one point really stuck with me was, there, like, there's no course you can take to learn how to resell. I mean, you know, resellers give their, you know, they charge for their whatever. But there's no college education you can take to prepare you, to train you in reselling. And so the mistakes that you make, it's tuition. It's what you pay to learn. Don't do it that way. <laughs> Let's do it another way that's even better. Um, so, and sometimes I'll say that to myself in the thrift store. Well, I don't, I can't find comps, but I just have a feeling this is really good. It's my tuition. I'm gonna buy it. And if it works out and it makes me money, amazing, and I've learned. If it doesn't and it, I lose money, it's amazing and I've learned, right? So that was my amazing, that was my education, my tuition. I learned I'm not great at online arbitrage. I just, I'll leave that for other folks. Okay, moving on. Um, this is definitely a brand to look out for. This is Jelly Cat. This is... The Dainty Kitten, is she not so cute? Purple, so soft. If you've ever touched a Jelly Cat plush in real life, you know what I'm talking about. They're so soft. This sold for $25. And here's the tag um, in case you are curious, $25. Guys, I keep saying I'm not gonna pick up any more plush because I literally have a mountain of plush. And then I find something else and I can't stop myself. Oh. <clears throat> but then it makes me $25, so then it's okay, right? <laughs> right? Okay, this sold full price, um, $59.99. The tag on this tie, also a brand to look out for, is Brioni. Is that? I, there we go. Brioni, and it's made in Italy. Um, I got this from an online auction, and I did pay up. Um, I don't remember exactly how much I paid, but I think I paid probably about $12 just because I knew that brand and I knew that it would sell for a good price. So, um, that was that $59.99. Obviously not all ties sell for that much. If you've watched me at all, um, last week I had, a, a bag of ties that sold at auction for $4.99. So, but that brand is definitely a good one. So for sure. Um, you know, sometimes I just feel like I'm not very good at this reselling thing. <laughs> and then other times I feel like, you know, okay, maybe I'm doing something right. So, win some, lose some, right? Here we go. This is a metal watering can, and it actually has some heft to it. It's not like, you know, from the Dollar Tree. Um, it is a dollhouse miniature, and it sold for $5. And I get these in lots, and then I just sell them individually. Um... So what I love about that is I can have, I don't know, I think when I did this, when I got this lot, it was probably a hundred items, but I have a little, you know, basket that I put them in. So a hundred miniature items is not that much. And then they sell, they sell a lot at first. 
And then, you know, you get a sale every once in a while. But it seems like I've been selling dollhouse stuff quite frequently the last couple weeks. So, I don't know. Maybe everybody's decorating their dollhouse for Christmas. Is that a thing? I don't know. Um, okay, this is from my DSW haul. I bought, I believe it was 70 pairs of shoes for $5 each at DSW this summer. Um, and they were all really great brands. Wolverine, um, Sperry, Chaco, uh, a bunch of Wolverine actually. Um, anyway, they are so selling very slowly. <laughs> I still have a mountain of shoes in my basement, but one at a time wins the race, right? $5 into $20 for some black slippers. And then my one and only Poshmark sale. Here we go. It is a pair of Patagonia running socks, purple. And these are lightweight merino, lightweight merino run quarter socks. Um, they sold for 10. So the reason this is not great is because I bought these at Sierra. I bought several pairs and I paid um, $5 each. So if you do the math, the Poshmark, $5. I made $2. Yes, yes. Um, that's not great. That's not the margins we're shooting for. However, when you are desperate for a sale on Poshmark, and, and I know that I have, I think I had between five and seven pairs of these that I got marked down. So, when you know you have other items, other like items to absorb the blow of one selling cheaply, then it's okay, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. It's the dilemma of the reseller. The reseller, when you have that offer come in and you look at it and you just scratch your head and you're just not sure. So you just go for it. And no regrets, right? No, re no regrets. No regrets. A little regret <laughs> but it's a sale so it's going out the door and I'm getting my money back plus two more dollars so that's good that's good at least I mean I would I would not have accepted the offer if it meant I was losing money right I would not do that um so I guess I do know some things <laughs> yeah. so anyway I'm listing lots of great stuff um and my sales are not horrible um I've already had almost as many sales today at 12.25 as I had yesterday. So that's great. I'm very excited about that. I just, you know, some of my bigger dollar items would be nice to sell. I think that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. So, um, but my average sales price on eBay is about 30, $31, $32. So that's not too shabby. Um, I'm happy with that. And you know, considering I, I do have quite a few $5 items in there. Um, but that's because I like selling. I like selling stuff like that. And like I've said before, I have four kids and the three oldest, they're teenagers. And um, the way they earn their money is by photographing for me. So sometimes I'll specifically look for things that are easy for them to... Um, photograph or I can get a whole bunch of them and they can photograph them individually like you know dollhouse miniatures or postcard lots I like to do that um stuff like that so that's what works for me and that's the beauty of the reselling business is you can tailor it to your family your needs um there's no one tried and true formula that everyone must do across the board to be successful it's whatever works for your family and your specific situation. So for me, this is what works and um, I'm happy for it. So um, make sure if, if you are finding this content to be helpful, if you could drop a comment below and just let me know, or if you could say, you talk too much, can you please fix that? I'll try, no promises. Um, but if you do find the content helpful, just let me know. Or you can subscribe to my channel so that every day you get bombarded by me showing you my sales. Um, I started this on Instagram. I was doing it on my stories and got a lot of great feedback. A lot of people loved it. Um, but then Instagram is getting glitchy. And honestly, it's not. that's not how you should best utilize your stories by chattering on and on. 
Um, anyway, so I decided, you know what, I'm just gonna put this on YouTube, maybe reach a bunch more people and have fun in the community. I love the reseller community on YouTube. I follow a ton of people um, and I'm gonna do a thank you post, a thank you video um, on Thanksgiving outlining who my top five or top 10 uh, YouTubers are that have really helped me tremendously on my journey. So um, anyway, wrapping this up because I do have a hair appointment. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe buttons and have a great day.